Hey everyone welcome to Aero Raider the HAL HF24 Marut holds the distinction of being India's first indigenously designed and manufactured jet fighter. Developed in the late 1950s and early 1960s, it was a testament to India's ambition to become self-reliant in military aviation. Though it had a relatively short operational history, the Marat played a crucial role in shaping India's aeronautical capabilities. The HF-24 Marat was designed by the famed German aeronautical engineer Dr. Kurt Tank, who was instrumental in several notable aircraft designs, including the Fokker Wolf FW-190 of World War II. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, undertook the ambitious task of developing a supersonic aircraft, intending to make India a formidable force in jet fighter technology. The development program began in 1956, with the first prototype taking flight in 1961. The Marut was designed as a twin-engine, single-seat fighter bomber with an all-metal construction. The aircraft's aerodynamics were influenced by contemporary Western fighter jets, featuring a low-wing monoplane design, a tricycle landing gear, and a sleek fuselage to minimize drag. The HF-24 Marat was powered by two Bristol Siddeley Orphea 703 turbojet engines, which each produced 4,850 lbf knots, of thrust. However, the aircraft was originally designed for an engine with greater power, which was never realized, thus limiting its full potential. Maximum speed, 1,112 km per hour, 690 miles per hour, at sea level. Service ceiling, 13,700 meters, 45,000 feet. Range, 800 kilometers, 500 miles, with internal fuel for 30 millimeters Aden cannons. External hardpoints for bombs, rockets, and missiles. Capability to carry up to 1,800 kilograms, 4,000 pounds, of ordnance despite its sleek design, the Marat never achieved supersonic speeds due to its underpowered engines. Its thrust-to-weight ratio was one of its biggest drawbacks, limiting its overall combat effectiveness compared to its Western and Soviet contemporaries. Operational History The HF-24 Marat was inducted into the Indian Air Force IAF, in 1967, with three squadrons eventually operating the aircraft. It saw its first combat action during the 1971 Indo-Pakistani War, where it was primarily used for ground attack missions. The aircraft performed strike missions in the western sector, targeting enemy airfields, tank formations, and supply lines. It proved to be resilient and durable, often returning from missions with heavy damage. Pilots praised its sturdy airframe, which provided good low-altitude handling and survivability in hostile environments. However, the lack of an afterburning engine and modern avionics limited its performance against enemy fighters such as the Pakistan Air Force's F-86 Sabres and MiG-19's robust design, the Marut's airframe was well-built and could sustain significant battle damage. Effective ground attack role, it was a stable platform for bombing and strafing runs, making it useful in the 1971 war, first indigenous fighter, a major milestone in India's aviation history paving the way for future aircraft like the Tejas underpowered engines, the biggest drawback, preventing it from reaching supersonic speeds and competing with contemporary fighter jets. Limited avionics, lacked modern radar and targeting systems, making it less effective in air-to-air -air combat. Short service life, production and operational use were limited, with the aircraft being retired in 1985 after a service span of less than two decades. The HAL HF-24 Marut remains a landmark achievement in India's defense and aviation history. While it never became the supersonic fighter India had envisioned, it was a crucial learning experience for the country's aeronautical engineers and defense planners. The lessons learned from the Marut project contributed to the development of later indigenous aircraft such as the HAL Tejas, which successfully overcame many of the challenges faced by its predecessor. Despite its limitations, the Marut remains a symbol of India's early efforts toward self-reliance in military aviation. It stands as a tribute to the engineers and pilots who operated it, marking an important chapter in the history of the Indian Air Force.